can't believe it. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. This is not very good news for the chefs. Huh? The Young Farmers Association competition today was as good as having chefs. You don't, you've done very well. I'm a little bit worried now about that, but well done. <laughs> thank, <laughs> you, thank you, thank you. What can I say? It was absolutely fantastic. Great produce, fantastic display, and I've been extremely impressed about the, the quality of the, the, the produce, uh, the definitions of, on the plate, the mixing with the different tests, and the techniques. And what's realized is like judging chefs, young chefs, as good, as good. In this, they've got to be a little bit crazy to do, attempt some of the things they did today and then pull them off as well. Uh, there's some professional chefs who would struggle, I think, in the environment with the equipment that you're given here to achieve what they did. I mean, I'm, I'm blown away. I, I had a little bit of a brief from Ben last week um, about kind of what equipment they were going to be given and, and the kind of standards, and he showed me a couple of pictures from previous years, but actually being here and seeing all this, the displays and the standard of the food uh, kind of it blew me away at the, some of the stuff that was coming out. Uh, we've been practicing three times a week for months. Yeah. Well, we like the idea that the sheep just ate seaweed, so then we based every like dish on that, so we included seaweed into every dish. That's where the whole idea came from. I mean, it was interesting to see some and taste some things that I've never tasted before, uh, Lincolnshire red beef and um, in particular the Dartmoor pony. There were some very interesting, uh, interesting meats to try that normally we wouldn't have had a chance to come across. So rare and native breeds are the backbone of British agriculture, but we need to create that end market for these breeds. If the, the stands are amazing. You can tell the, the, the counties that have really done their homework when it comes to RBST and the breeds that they've chosen and why they've chosen them. It, the competition, we had to promote one um, rare breed and we chose um, the Welsh Pig Society. So we used a lot of information from the Rare Breed Society um, Trust website and also the Welsh Pig, um, put together some promotional leaflets and things and it's quite surprising how many breeds of native animals are actually you know on on the list so I think it just goes to show support your local butchers and you know support British produce and um, so it was scallops with a passive crisp um, a pomegranate glaze and then pomegranate started around I wasn't really expecting it at all I was expecting Anna's panna cotta to do it not my scallops so <laughs> It's been it's been an absolutely pleasure.